Good morning, my people. This is Stuart Smith of Stuart and Designs. We are in studio today. Got some hot canvas action going on for Steven's Nightmare. And uh, we're gonna throw it down. Hey, people, Stuart Smith from Stuart and Designs. If you're new to the channel, I paint monsters for a living. <laughs> that is right. I paint monsters for a living. And today, creepy woods in studio. So it's nice. House is about 50 feet that way. And uh, get to sit there and come on in here, throw down, go in and grab a break, take heavy thoughts, come back out. It's all good. And it is a nasty, nasty, rainy October day. And I uh, may even have to turn the heater on. Hope not. So, uh, hey, let's get this bad boy going. And uh, also, for your benefit, let's go over some of my supplies that I use. Okay, so we are going to be doing a transitional piece. That is, it looks one way when the ambient lights are being used, and then it was that they're in transform into something else or with additions of stuff uh, when the black lights are on. So we have Wildfire Optical White, uh, Premium Decor, High Gloss Green, Dayglo Signal Green, Testers Green, Fluorescent Yellow, and FR1 Flame Retardant, just that they're gonna add into the paint. We also gonna have white, but that's, you know, varying degrees of different shades of green and so we'll be mixing a lot of stuff. And then some of the pieces will glow when the black light hits. That's what this is for, the uh, signal green. Also, we want things that not show up in the white light. That's what the optical white is for. So that's what we're gonna be thrown down with. And uh, so we have two eight by tens to do. So let's get those bad boys going. Well, a little winded, but uh, we got her up. So she is 10 feet by eight. This is heavyweight muslin, sewn and grommeted by my wonderful girls. And uh, this is one of two. Um, the grommets are not only for the customer to be able to hang them up, but uh, we built these brand new walls in here and it makes it so easy. And you don't want to put these on real tight. I am not sizing this canvas. I'm going to let the paint do that. That way you're actually having the paint go through the pores of this and it is a permanent application, okay? And as far as the paint scheme goes, we're going to be doing something called aerial perspective. So we put one layer on, darken it in, so tree, tree, tree. But we put the first layer on, that I'll mist over the top of it with a different shade of green, lay in the second layer, mist over that, and then the third layer will be the one closest to us. And the reason why we do that is aerial perspective dictates how much water molecules are in the air from a distance. It's the reason why, for instance, I'm uh, gonna just show this to you guys real quick. Okay, off in the distance over there, you notice how green the grass is there and that hill, but then the trees off in the distance, they're not so green. They're more grayed out. It's because of how much water is in the air between point A and point B. So that's why we sit there and layer in things, gives it that dimensionality. All right, for the first layer, I have mixed up this kind of uh, shamrock shake type color. It's gonna go good uh, for the first so layer. So basically I'm trying to give a background, I'm trying to give an even along. coat all the way across because not only is this your first layer, but it is also uh, sizing the canvas. And then I grab a roller and I work down the pills. If the paint's a little thin, it will start building the pills and uh, we don't want that. So the first layer we're allowed to dry, but we try to knock down those pills. Our second layer 
is to build up trees in the background using just basically flat black. And as you notice, I'm kind of fogging it out at the bottom. Then we're gonna come along with a small airbrush, put in some extra branches and stuff, make sure she dries completely, and then we will fog it in for the third layer. Okay, now we're starting to lay in some of the branches, roots, and all sorts of happy, fun tree stuff. And uh, my go-to airbrush is Passion VL number three. And I am using that with Rust-Oleum's flat black oil base um, paint, enamel. The uh, stuff flows beautifully through the gun, lubricates it while I'm using it, and uh, just gives real nice control. Um, rarely do I have any problems with that. So I'm just bracing that in. Some of them are lighter, some of them are darker. And then uh, once that is completely dry, we will fog that in and go into our second layer of trees. Now, with the background color, we're gonna strategically just kind of fog that in different areas. The trees that are behind the other ones, uh, we are going to just kind of hit those a little harder than the other ones. Now we begin our second layer of trees. We're only gonna go two because uh, the branches will be more pronounced. And then after that, we'll fog those in and go on to the third and final, where most of the detail will be done.
All right, here comes the fun part. So we've got all of our silhouettes down, all the branches. And so I have mixed up some green and white, um, just a little bit darker green that was used for uh, the background. And we are now uh, giving some dimension to the trees, nasties and stuff. We are going to be adding in some skulls and open mouths and eyeballs and things like that. And um, right now we're using the ambient, but then I'm gonna switch over to the Saturn green, I mean the uh, signal green, day glow. So when the black lights kick on, certain portions of this are gonna dim and they are gonna shoot forward. And it is a really cool effect when you sit there and put a strobe light on it and it makes it look like it's popping off the wall. So enjoy this portion and uh, hey, any way you want to do it is is a um, cool thing. If you want to put bark on, great. I like to make them look old and decrepit and nasty and bulbous and just foul and uh, gives it more of that swampy look um, versus uh, more trees. And yes, my trees are you know, more more of a, a monster rather than a regular tree, and I like that, and my customers do. So, um, of course, if you wanted to go straight, hey, look, it's a it's a regular tree, rock on. But uh, just this this type of video is to demonstrate methodology and technique rather than uh, imagination. Okay, your imagination is yours, mine is mine and uh, everybody wins, okay? So uh, enjoy, and uh, we'll continue forth. Well, that does it for me today, people. Yes, I got paint on my face, I normally do, so. <laughs> All part of the fun. Hey, thanks for coming on board. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Comment, please. Um, I'd like to do more of these videos, and I wanna know what you guys think about it. Thanks for coming on board. Thanks for being part of the show. And hey, we'll see you on the next video. I hope you learned something. Take care.